Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My last two videos have been my 2023 skincare inventory followed by my 2023 skincare usage goals. Now this video and what I'd filmed here was originally just meant to be part of that usage goals video but it was quite a long video as it was so I've just separated it out to make it today's video and today we are doing my 2023 skincare setup. So let's get on into it and I hope you enjoy. In terms of my setup this year, that box there is the stuff that I'm going to put into the loft. So that's the storage box. Similarly to hair care, in past years I have had this box plus multiple other boxes. So really pleased that it's only one box. In the long run I'd like there to be no boxes in the loft. But we are where we are, so one box is going in the loft. And then this stuff here is all the stuff that we have decided to keep down and try and use up this year so let's go through it. In terms of my sort of core skincare this is the box it's a Chanel box lid that I keep on my windowsill and that has the stuff that I am kind of using at any main point in it the stuff that I need daily access to like my core skincare routine. So starting with the star obviously washing and toning those things will live in the bathroom so We'll sort them out at the end actually but first of all my essence obviously has to be in there that's the first thing then after essence it's serum looking at my serums here i need my hydrating serum that's the one that's currently open then i've got a backup there this is my beauty pie neck serum which i will keep in as well i'm going to keep this the mini of the fresh rose in rotation just now just until i've got it finished up then in terms of I want a daytime vitamin C which is for at the moment this one from Summer Fridays and my nighttime vitamin C which at the moment is this Kiehl's Mini. So that's my kind of core serums. Then what I've got here, this is a backup, this is a backup. So those three are backups of things that are in that box. Then these ones are more treatmenty. So I've got these two are niacinamides. Then this is a backup actually as well. That's a vitamin C. So that will be the backup for once this one is finished. So these two are niacinamides. This is my Sunday Riley Good Jeans, a glycolic acid. And then, do you know, I might actually put this one in. This is like a repairing serum. So I will put that in with my core skincare. This is now my daily skincare routine and I've got most of my serums in here. Then what I've got here is what I'm going to call my treatments box. So this has got at the moment my niacinamide serums in. I really only use them around a certain time of the month and it's got the Sunday Riley Good Jeans which I said I need to try and start remembering to work in like once a week. And the backups I've just left sitting over there at the moment and we'll figure out sort of backup storage at the end when I see how many backups I have. Onto facial oils since they're here. Uh, this one I'm going to, I think I said, take in to work with me. Um, and use it as almost like a cuticle oil. So I have got this little box here. I'm just going to put into that things that I want to take into work with me tomorrow. So that's going to be stuff that's going into work. That's treatments. That's daily skincare. Back to this. This I want to get used up as an actual facial oil. So I'm putting that in there. And then this I think I will use... I said like maybe as like a body oil or something. So I think I might actually just stick that over here with the body products just now and I'll sort that out as part of that. For retinols, this is the one I've been using so I'm going to finish that one first and I'm also going to use this one up I said this year. So this has got an SPF in it so it's a daytime retinol. Keep that one as well but I am only going to maybe try and use it maybe once or twice a week and still be using my normal SPFs the rest of the time. These four can go into the backups box. Speaking of SPF, this one as I said is nearly finished so I will put that into the daily skincare. Actually I need to cut it open so I will also just put in this one, the Super Good Play SPF 50. So that can go into daily skincare. Then I think in terms of my work I will take in this. So this is the Garnier Over Makeup. Um, I might actually buy a second one of these so that I've got one at work and one at home because if I'm wearing makeup it is a really good way to top up my SPF. Um, but probably don't need it until nearer the summer months when we've got more of those sunlight hours but I may well add another one of these before the end of the year but for now I will take that one in to top up mid-afternoon and work with but I'm also going to take this in because I don't wear makeup every single day in work so if I'm not wearing makeup I'll just top up with more normal SPF and if I'm wearing makeup I'll top up with 
the spray. That's two in the work box, two in the daily box, and then these two can go into the backups box. So onto eye products. Both of these eye creams just into my daily skincare box. This one is very nearly done. I'm going to need to cut it open in the next couple of days, so I may as well just keep the two of them accessible. Speaking of cut open, this already is cut open, so again, the two eye masks I think I'll just put in because this one's going to be done quite quickly, and then I'll be moving on to that one. In fact, no, do you know what? I'll put this one in the treatments box. And then I'll put this one in the daily skincare box just because it is cut open. So once it's cut open, I really do want to prioritise it. I SPF, I'll put that in there. And then I have used this one a couple of times of the sort of retinol eye creams. So this is the Murad one, which I will keep in here. And this La Roche-Posay retinol eye cream can go into the backups. Then I've got treatments. What I will do with these treatments that are one use treatments is I will put them in, this is my Elizabeth Scarlet pouch that my sheet masks live in, so I will put these into here. Then these three I will put into the treatment box, I've had these for quite a long time, so I definitely do want to prioritise them and try and get them used this year, not that that one wants to stand apparently. On to moisturisers, so first of all I've got these sort of treatmenty ones, what I'll do is I'll keep this one in my daily skincare, in fact no, I'll put it in with the treatments, that would make more sense. And I'm going to put this one into the bathroom, so I'll just put that to one side and that can get put away with that stuff. So I said this one I would use in summer, so not that one. This one I need to test, so I think I'll put that into my daily skincare routine. This one is so old, I'm not really sure that I want to be putting it on my face, so I think I will put that over here with the body stuff as well. This one I think I will put into the bathroom as well, my neck cream, because I feel like I'm more likely to use that when I've come out the shower or whatever. You know, I'll use it before I get dressed basically, and then I'll brush my teeth or whatever while it's sinking in. You know, I won't put that on in my bedroom, so that can go into the shower, or into the, the bathroom pile, sorry. So then that leaves these minis, and as I said, I've already started using these two, so I'm just going to put them in there, because I feel like they can be finished very, very quickly. This is also something that I have been using so I will put that in because again I could probably finish that reasonably quickly and then I think I will put these ones into the backup box. For my spot treatments I'll just put the three of them into the treatments box as would make sense. Then for my facial spray I'm going to take that into work and just have it on my desk to rehydrate with throughout the day. For exfoliators these two can go into the bathroom. This one can go into my daily skincare and then these four I think I would use them more as treatments so they can go into the treatment box. On to face masks. This one I'm going to keep active because that's the one I want to finish. That one can go in the backups box. I want to keep the out of trouble mask active. That's my clay mask spot mask. I'm going to keep these two as my brightening masks because I think I'll put that one in the bathroom actually. So I'll put that over there and I'll keep that as the sort of first, first backup to that. Then hydrating, well this is actually a brightening mask but it's a leave on one. So I'm going to keep that one down because it's very nearly done. So I've got a clay mask, two brightening masks and a spot mask that I'm keeping to instant access. Um, so I feel like I probably also need a sort of hydrating mask. I feel like it makes most sense for it to be this one, as we've already said, comes in a tub. So it's been open, it's been exposed. I'd like to get that one used up. So keep that one to instant access. And similarly, this is my sort of soothing mask. And then I think just while we're at it, these two are very nearly done. The Kiehl's cilantro mask and the avocado mask. So I will keep them and then I will put the rest of these into the backups box for once these ones have been worked through. What I'm going to do, these are all masks that I would use in place of my night cream. They're like leave-on masks. So I'm going to get them into there. These ones I'm going to put into the treatment box. And I think that's almost pretty much going to fill those boxes, which is fine because the only other thing left to get in there, I tend to put my sashi samples, just knock them all over, wonderful, um, in the side there. I will fix that and show you it when it's fixed. But then also hand cream because I like to put my hand cream on kind of last thing at night after doing the rest of my skincare. So I did say I think I'm going to try and finish these two first. What I'm going to do is put 
this one into my daily skincare box and this one into my work so I'll take that one in and put it on my desk and then these four can go in the backup box so there we have it that is my daily skincare routine box next to my daily hair care routine box on the windowsill then this is my backup box now I don't love this box I've had it for the last few years as you can maybe tell from the state of it but it's fine it suffices for now basically the reason I don't like it is because it closes over like that and then I pile it in here on top of this other Space NK box and it just means it's quite difficult to actually get in and out. I really like ease of access. I have realised through doing my makeup rehab, through monitoring my empties, through monitoring what I use and why, nine times out of ten it's access. Like whatever it is in front of me is what I will use. And if it's tucked away in a box, especially a box that I have to then move other stuff out of the way to get into and lift it out to open the lid like I can't even just pull it open like it's a drawer or whatever. All of that kind of stops me using stuff. So for that reason this is not an ideal situation but I am hopeful that given we've only got one box for the loft that after next year I won't have a backup box in the wardrobe in this capacity anyway so it wouldn't need to be although I might still have like my treatment box and I might have maybe the equivalent of that as a backup box it won't be like a big huge box with a lid that's quite cumbersome and whatever so really the way around using this is not to find a new storage solution but to use stuff up. But anyway that is actually the majority of it decided upon. So what's left here are body products. Basically this little pouch just sits on the side of those boxes actually in the wardrobe so I don't need to do anything with my sheet masks. Um, but yeah, let's make some decisions on body products. So looking at this, this one's nearly done, so I'm going to put that into the bathroom. This one I just want to get used up, so I'll put that into the bathroom. This is nearly done, so that can go into the bathroom. And this is also nearly done, so those four can go live in the bathroom. And these ones I will put into the backup box. These as well, sorry, I put these in next to bath products. So these are the other massage bars. So I've got three massage bars, the meal this oil this is actually a face moisturizer and then a body oil so they can go in this box my body mask and bath stuff is all obviously going into the bathroom in terms of other body stuff i've got my body scrub which i'm going to put into the bathroom i'm actually going to keep these two maybe you know i might just keep them in the bathroom cupboard i feel like they're a bit cumbersome for putting into the backups box so i will put them into the bathroom but i'm not putting them into the shower I'm going to put the face washes that I want to use first into the shower but I'll keep these as backups in the bathroom cupboard. Then my foot products, do you know I might actually put that in with my daily skincare box. There we go, just about managed to get the foot cream and the peel in at the back there. Just because when I use these it's like right before bedtime so this is maybe the best place to keep them. So then the last things to sort out are my cleansers and toners. Now first of all my makeup removers, these are obviously all going into the bathroom. So I've got my micellar water, my eye makeup remover and my cleansing balm. Then in terms of cleansers, um, I think this is the most expensive one of the three that I've put in to be body washes so I'm going to put that into the shower as my body wash. That can go there. And then actual face cleansers, so this one is obviously very very nearly done so I will put that in but I may as well just pick a second one to put in straight away. I think I'll actually, there's one of these that I've opened, this one This one feels a little less full um, so I will put that one in as the cleanser that I'll move on to in the shower once I've finished this one. But I think I should also have an exfoliating cleanser in because this one is a mini and I have already used it. I think I'll just put that in and just try and get it finished up. And then I will put these ones here into the backups box. Then for toners, my rare earth one I won't use until summer but I'm going to keep that in the bathroom again so that I see it, so that it's visual, so that I remember it's there come summer because I feel like last year I had that in my box and remembered in like August to take it out for the last few weeks of summer so 
I'm going to keep it in the bathroom right from the start, even though I won't use it until the warmer weather arrives. And then I think I'd like to try and finish this one first, the Dr. Robux Skin Brightening Toner. So I'm going to keep that one in the bathroom. And then I'm going to put these three into the backups box. So well, that is the backups box. I'm going to put that into the wardrobe. If you can see that um, on this shelf here, my backups box is there. The one underneath the other Space NK box, um, that has false eyelashes in it. So again, like, it's just not really an ideal setup, but the ideal setup can be reached once I have less stuff. So that is what we've got to focus on. Then I've got my little treatment box here. So that is sitting on front here. And then this has all my face masks and eye masks that are, you know, like, um, I won't say sashes, but that's not really the word, but you know what I mean, like my sheet masks eh, are all in this pouch here that just sits on the side. Then this stuff is all going in the bathroom, that box is going into the loft, and that box is going in to work with me tomorrow. So I'm so glad that this is now all, it's all been kind of sitting there waiting to be counted and filmed for ages, so I feel like I'm slowly reclaiming my space. So very, very pleased that this is done, and now I'm going to go put this stuff away, put that box in the loft, and fully reclaim my floor space. So that is everything for this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing my setup and see me pick out what to concentrate on first this year and whatever. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you on Sunday with my next one. Bye!